What's up, guys? AWO here, Aaron War Order, bringing you a wrestling video. I haven't done many of these or live streams, but mostly focusing on other stuff, right? Marvel stuff, whatever. Yeah, but it's it's Sunday, guys, and I know that, and so I know a lot of people have done their preview and predictions for Survivor Series. Uh, Survivor Series. Ahead of time, but I like to do it on my um, on the day of the show because things could change, and I'm gonna upload this uh, or premiere it maybe an hour before the show. But so yeah, this still be up in an hour before the show. So let's get into this. Let's get into the Survivor Series for 2021 live in New York City at the Barclays Center, where Barclays Center was a staple of and actually take over for about four or five years. And so let's get into it now. Yeah, it only had two weeks, two to three weeks to build up this pay-per-view. They announced the men's and women's teams on Twitter two weeks ago. People were not happy. But then some, they got a lot, you got a lot of changes. Some people were taken off the team and then others were added. Some, yeah, super servers were taken off. Some were added. And yeah, man. So... There's no tag teams. Um, there's no tag team this year facing of uh, SmackDown facing Raw. It's just gonna be women's five women versus five women from Raw versus five women from SmackDown. And on the men's side, five men from Raw versus five men from SmackDown. No, no, no tag team um, Survivor Series um, brand supremacy like they did the past few years. And we do got some obviously non-title matches, but we got champion versus champion, obviously non-title. Uh, tonight, the United States versus Intercon champion, women, raw women versus SmackDown women, Universal versus WWE champion, and tag team champions from each brand. And so we're gonna go down. And yes, there is a battle royal tonight. Uh, let me see if I can get a picture of this. Uh. Paying homage to 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 the Rock twenty five years of the Rock. The Rock has made his debut on a Survivor Series back in two thousand twenty. Not to oh my god, back in. Back in 1996, yes. 1996. I'm looking for that. I'm looking for the Battle Royal thing. It's going to have 25 superstars. Let me see if I can find it. Whatever's not important is whoever not on the whoever's not on these matches are in it. Like example, AJ Styles is in it. Uh I'm gonna go with AJ Styles to win it. But let's get into the the, the matches we're all here to see. Uh, so uh, typically, since there's typically since there's none, there's no title matches. We just have champion versus champion, but the titles are not aligned. Typically, I like to use title matches. After matches, I like to preview title matches after matches that are um, that help them touch titles online. But in this case, I'm gonna do it differently. I'm gonna go in a different order. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that because there's really no title on the line tonight. It's just champion versus champion, but no titles, right? So let's let's start with a, a match that I think will open up the card. I'm gonna go with the Raw Tag Team Champions here. Matt Riddle, Randy Orton taking on the Usos of SmackDown Tag Team Champions, part of the Bloodline. Now this match is gonna be very good. There's no build up to this match, obviously, but we always have to have the brand supremacy. Uh, Matt Riddle is great in the ring. RK Bro is doing very like RK Bro is one of the best things about Raw and WWE right now. 
RK, like RK bro, uh, Matt Riddle and Randy Orton, their chemistry do play off each other. Randy Orton is a serious one, and Randy Orton and um and um Matt Riddle is more of the laid back, laid back, uh, down to earth kind of guy who likes to talk, who's always who's always um excited, right? Randy Orton is the one who he, Riddle. You got the serious one, the serious one, right of the of the tag team. You got to take this seriously. I think, I think, I think down the line, this is gonna lead to a match between the two. They're gonna break up, and this is gonna lead to a match down the line between the two, where I think it's possible WrestleMania match right here, Riddle versus Orton. But I think it's early for that. But I think that's just gonna happen. Um, Orton's gonna turn on Riddle when they lose the titles and whatever. You can see um. You can see RK Bro break up. You're gonna have a match between the two, but but that's in the future. Let's go with what I think. I think um, I'm gonna go with RK Bro, Matt Riddle, and Randy Orton to defeat the Usos. Usos here. Now let's get to the women's five on five match. Okay, you don't see everybody in this picture. I'm sorry. But in this match, we're going to have from Team Raw, Queen Zelina, Liv Morgan, Ray Ripley, and Team Captain Bianca Bauer. And Team SmackDown, we're going to have Sasha Banks, Sam Baser, Sasha Blackheart, Natalia, and Tony Storm, who will replace Aaliyah for Team SmackDown. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to enjoy this match. Now, with Liv Morgan... We know she's next in line for the Raw Women's title uh, held by Becky Lynch. But right now, if right now she's in this match. Now, with Ray Ripley, one half of the Women's Tag Team Champions. But Nikki, Nikki's not in it. I wouldn't be surprised if she companies in the ring, but she's not in it. What does it possibly mean between the two? I don't know. I don't know. What does it possibly mean? But, uh, right now, storyline purposes that is Lena and... Carmella are saying Nikki is nothing without Rhea and Whippy is doing all Whip, if if she didn't have Rhea, she wouldn't be tag team champion. Okay. Where Ripley, uh she's gonna be dominant here. She was in 2019 when her NXT joined, she did she was the last of her and made NXT look strong. Uh Selena Carmella, uh I think if you're if you're pulling up Liv, Liv should get the perhaps the pin here for team. Raw, if Raw wins, I'm gonna give you my prediction here. SmackDown, we got Sasha Banks. How will she coexist with Sasha Blackheart? We know they had a match with SmackDown, it's pretty good. And Sasha Banks, on the other hand, to Sasha Blackheart to shake, Sasha, Sasha fell for her, and then Sasha Banks gave her a bank statement while more of the backstabber. How late is this? How late is this? Is Shayna Baszler there, right? Natalia and Tony Storm. Now, Tony Storm. It's a lot like Liv Morgan. They're building up Tony Storm for Charlotte, right? For Charlotte. It looks like they're building up. She's next in line for Charlotte. Everybody's happy about that. We're finally using Tony Storm. Now, same with Liv Morgan. I can see I can see the exact same thing with Tony Storm here. Her getting the win for SmackDown. Not Sasha, but Tony Storm. Uh, here's the thing. I see in the future, like, no disrespect to Liv fans, but I think Tony Storm has a better chance of becoming champion than Liv Morgan. So, I'm going to go with Team SmackDown on the women's side here, with Tony Storm getting the win to help build up the like, face Charlotte. I'm sorry, Liv Morgan fans. I just don't see her the one taking the, the title off Becky. I see Becky, the Bianca feud, picking up again. At some point, and they're gonna have a title match. A Tony Storm, I can see. I just see a, a better chance of her taking a title off Flair than I see Morgan taking the Raw title off Becky Lynch. Now let's go to another match. United States Champion Damon Priest taking on Intercontinental Champion Shinsuke Nakamura. Let, right? I think his match is going to be good. Now we see a more darker, um, twisted Damon Priest. Is this a signal for a heel turn or just uh, more of an edge to him? Right? I don't know. This is one of the, the, one of the, one of the matches I 
have trouble with because I see this very good match. They're both phenomenal workers. You can't deny Shinsuke and Damian Priest are both phenomenal workers. I know. I think like Shinsuke is where he is. He's not where, he, where everybody wanted to, wants him to be, but he is where he is. Damian Priest, this man, this man is high on Damian Priest. I think he's a future champion. And I mean WWE champion, possibly Universal champion down the line. This, I can tell this is high on Damian Priest. He has he could wrestle, he could talk, has a look, he's tall. He has a look that this man wants as a future champion. Um, a better version than King Corbin. Even though I think King Corbin is good in the ring, it's just that Damian Priest is much better overall. Uh, so I'm going to go Damian Priest to be Shinsuke Nakamura. Now, before we get to the two two other ma- uh, two two big matches, the women's match, the title versus t- um, Wild, Woman, Wild Woman's champion Becky and Charlotte Flair, SmackDown Women's champion, well, and uh, the the Universal champion Roman Reigns taking Big E, the WWE champion. We're gonna get to the men's five on five match. Now, I'm really gonna enjoy this match. Now, on Team Raw, on the bottom, we got Seth Rollins, the Architect, number one contender for. The WWE Championship, held by Big E. Finn Balor, Kevin Owens, Austin Theory, and Bobby Lashley. Now, they're high on Austin Theory. That's why they're permanent match. He's all the talent in the world. But look at that. Lashley, Owens, Finn Balor, and Seth Rollins. Woo! And look at SmackDown. Now, it's not too bad here. We got Drew McIntyre, Jeff Hardy, King Woods, Sheamus, and Happy Corbin. Right? Now, now. This is gonna be a good match. All phenomenal workers in this match. Xavier Woods did, did look well. Did look well against Roman Reigns. I'll give him that. Um, but like I, but, but, I think Raw wins here. I think the Raw men's team gets the win here, and I don't think it's gonna be like last year with a clean sweep where the men's Raw team basically swept the SmackDowns men's team. This will not be a streep. I think this will go... This will not be... This will... Not, yeah, this, it won't be a streep like last year. Now, here's the match that I have trouble... Uh, trouble seeing who I can see the favorite winner here. And these... Yeah, and you know, these two... Best of friends and now bitter enemies of real life friends and now not so close. Becky Lynch, the Raw Women's Champion versus Charlotte Flair, the SmackDown Women's Champion. And yes, a terrible segment five weeks ago when they did tra- when they traded um, the titles. We know Charlotte went off script. There was the yelling match backstage. Becky Lynch confirmed it on an interview and she had an interview saying she has to be a hero. And like there's all sorts of stuff going around about Charlotte Flair and the, the heat she has, possibly the heat her and Becky Lynch have. I don't know if it's like a I don't know if it's like a Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels thing. Like Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels used to be friends, and then as time went on, things got heated between them, and they became unfriends. And yeah, I don't know if it's like that. I think there, I think there's some legitimate stuff between them, obviously, but I think there's some of it is a work between them. Some of it is a work hyping up their match because. Becky Lynch likes to do that in interviews. She likes to hype up big matches, and this is a big match. Becky Lynch versus Charlotte Flair. I don't remember the last time we had a singles match between the two. Two. And I... Sorry about that. I don't know. I don't know who's going to win here. I know I have to pick one. Uh, This match doesn't benefit anybody, really. Either of them. It's just stuff to build up their real life feet. And make a kayfabe, make it more like seem like there's more to it than it possibly really is. I just don't know. It's like, like I have, I have a, I have one who I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna pick. It's just this. To me, this is fifty fifty. There's no like. Uh, there's a possibility. This may not end up with a winner. So. I think this match is going to end with Becky Lynch winning, but not clean. Or, um, 
I don't know. I, I can also see Charlotte winning, but not clean. I don't think there's going to be a pin or a submission. I think I don't I don't see a clean win here. You got to protect these two. Becky Lynch tapping out does not make her look strong. I don't know. I even though she's technically a heel and she's a face in this match, it still doesn't make her look strong. It's heel versus heel, which is very, very rare, right? And we'll get to the main event. The main event is to see the Universal Champion versus WWE Champion, Big E. Now, I like Big E. I like Big E. I like, I like his one as a champion. He's tremendous. Man, and I'm making you looking forward to this match, Big E versus Roman Reigns. We know why this happened. I like to build up for this match because Roman Reigns has been dealing with the New Day. Um, Xavier Woods with the King stuff. Um, the Usos taking out Kofi Kingston and made Xavier watch. I really like that. They saw Big E appear on SmackDown to come help out Xavier Woods, King Woods, to end the show. And the show, make it make Big E look strong. I think um, this is going to be a hard follow match. I think it's going to be similar to like the Drew McIntyre match of last year. Uh, I, if, if I had to say here, I see. Sorry, Bay uh, New Day Biggie fans, but Roman Reigns can't lose this match. I know it's title versus non-title, title non-title versus non-title. I think Roman Reigns wins here. Roman Reigns wins here. So yeah, that's my predictions, preview predictions for Survivor Series. Uh, tell me, guys. Two sweet. Sweet. Two. So tell me in the comments about what you think, 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 and uh, yeah. So like, share, and su and subscribe. Um, yeah, and without AWO, the Air War is out.